Welcome to All-in-One SEO. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Facebook integration with All-in-One SEO. So from the WordPress dashboard, head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu on the left and click on the link that says Social Networks. And on the page that pops up here, you can paste in links to all your different social accounts. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to paste in the link to our Facebook account. And then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Save Changes. Then go ahead and scroll back up the page and there's some tabs at the top. The tab we are interested in today is the tab that says Facebook. So go ahead and click on that. The first section is the general Facebook settings. So you can see a toggle switch here next to where it says enable open graph markup. You want to keep that toggle switch on if you want Facebook and other social media to display a preview image and a text excerpt when a link to your site is shared, which of course we want that. So I'm going to leave that on. For the default post image source, this is saying when someone shares your content on Facebook, what image is going to be shared. The option we have is default image set below, so I can set the image right here. But there are many options in the drop down. We could use a featured image, an attached image, first image in content, image from a custom field. We could use the image of the post author or the first available image in the page. Now keep in mind, this is a default setting and you can override this on any page or post. So Normally, I would set this as the featured image so that it uses the featured image of my page or post, but I'm going to leave default image set below so I can set it right here. So then I'm going to go ahead and click the gray button that says upload or select image. And I'm just going to use this image from my media library that says demo site. And then you can see below there's a little preview here. So this is what people will see when this is shared on Facebook. The default term image source is below that. This is what's going to show up on Facebook if someone shares a link to one of your categories, for example. I'm going to, again, use the default set below uh, instead of using something from a custom field. And I'm just going to select the same image that I had for the regular website. Then it's asking me what the default post type object types are. We have article, activity, sport, bar, company, cafe. I'm going to leave it on article. Uh, and I'm going to leave all of these at the default, but you can select different object types for post pages and attachments. And then below that, we can select our default taxonomy object type. So this is, again, when people share things like categories. I'm going to say my categories are all related to sports teams. So you could put whatever you want in here. Most people are just going to leave these at the default as article, but if you have a specific sort of website, you might have custom object types for the categories and tags. I'm going to actually leave both of these alone. Show Facebook author. That's very self-explanatory. Yes or no. I'm going to say yes. Site name. The default here is site title separator tagline. That sounds great to me, but you could put in whatever you want here. You could even type in custom site names. I could call this AIO SEO demo site put in a space. You could add emoji here. I like that little happy emoji. And then maybe I'll put the tagline for the site after that. All of these settings so far have been about the default. So basically a fallback for how your content will appear on Facebook if you don't set this up on the individual page or post level. The section we're looking at now deals with how your home page will appear when it's shared on Facebook, starting with this first section that shows a preview of what that will look like. There's the image I have selected for the home page. Here's the title I have selected for the home page, the best demo site for demoing sites. Very original. And then you can put in your descriptions. I've got site title separator. We've been demoing sites since 2009. For object type here, you have lots of different options, but I'm just going to leave this one as website. And then under advanced settings, most users can just leave this alone. You could even toggle this off if you wanted to. If you want to mess with these, you can type in your Facebook admin ID. You can type in your Facebook app ID. You can type in a Facebook author URL. You can choose not to automatically generate article tags. By default, this is on yes. You can choose not to use keyword tags in the article tags. You could not use categories in the article tags and you could not use post in the article tags, but I'm just gonna leave everything the way it is. The defaults for all-in-one SEO are quite good. 
for most of our users. So if you don't know what to do, the best option is just to leave the default. When you're done tweaking all these settings to your liking, go ahead and click the big blue Save Changes button. And that's it. You're done. You have now configured the general Facebook settings in all-in-one SEO so that when someone shares your content on Facebook, it appears the way you wanted it to appear in the most SEO-friendly way possible. If you have any other questions, go ahead and check out our documentation at aioseo.com docs. If you don't find the answer to your question there, feel free to open a support ticket and we'll be happy to help you out.